Relief, exhaustion, exhilaration. But the overriding emotion was sheer joy. There were some nervy moments, but Dillingham's players and supporters have waited a long, long time for this. And Martin Allen emulates Peter Taylor and Tony Pulis in guiding Dillingham to promotion in his first season. But they didn't do it as champions. To win it at home in front of a packed house, you know, don't get much better than that. And uh, absolutely chuffed, very, very proud. And, uh, you know, great achievement from everyone this year. The afternoon began well. Dion Burton's thumping drive put the Jills ahead, and shortly after it appeared the job was done when local hero Danny Kedwell headed a second. Wimbledon leveled things up after the break to ensure a tense finish, but that only made the celebrations more heartfelt. It's unbelievable to get back in the first division again and a place of good football, we have to be fantastic. We did it over the course of the season, number one. We don't get to say that very often, we're on Jill. Proud of you. This is just unbelievable. In front of our own fans, this has got to be Wembley, I've got to tell you. This is a lovely day, magnificent day, great performance, great result, and we're champions. <laughs> After almost a decade of decline, things are finally looking up for Kent's only league club. Neil Bell, BBC South East Today, Gillingham. Absolutely chuffed, very, very proud and, uh, you know, a great achievement from everyone this year. Best highlight of my career, there's no doubt. Number one, we don't get to say that very often, well done, Jill, proud of you. It's unbelievable to get back in the first division again and a place of good football, we have to be fantastic. Sunshine for it as well. It was a great day, wasn't it? So, Gillingham Football Club chairman Paul Scally is here with us with the trophy, and you haven't stopped smiling since. <laughs> it's been a very happy weekend, I have to say. It's, uh, the trophy's not left my side. I, it stayed with me on Saturday night when I <laughs> went to bed, and I took it to lunch on Sunday with Martin Allen and put it on the table in the restaurant, and somebody came and filled it with a bottle of champagne, and uh, it's been a big smile ever since, but Fantastic. absolutely magnificent. And you must have been getting big smiles off everyone you've seen since then. What's the reaction well, been like? Yeah, I mean, just everyone. So uh, the whole of Kent, people have been all around Kent. I've been going all around and they've been just wishing us well and congratulating us. And, you know, it's so really amazing how it's given so, such a big lift to everyone in the Midway Towns and, and in Kent. So it's a, it's a great occasion for the club and for the supporters. Have and you been surprised at that reaction? Because I think Saturday night you ended up <coughs> gate crashing a function, didn't you? <laughs> well, I was, um, I'd had a couple of... Um, Drinks, as you can imagine, mm. from the bottle, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, I just wandered through our banqueting hall, just trying to find my way back to my office. And uh, there was an event on which I didn't realise, and uh, and uh, I walked in, and the band stopped, and I was sort of standing there with a the cup, and thinking, oh, I shouldn't be here. And then I just didn't know what to do, so I just held it up, and I said, "We are the champions!" And <laughs> the whole place erupted, and and I was there nearly an hour with people taking pictures of it and photographs, and it was just wonderful. And that, that kind of sums up how it's been for everyone, really. I think yeah. everyone just feels good about it, really. Uh, and great for the team, obviously, who've done brilliantly this season, an amazing record. And um, plans to go off to Benidorm, is that right, to celebrate? Um, that's classified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> it's classified, but yes, we are. We're going to take them away <laughs> after the uh, Burson game. We're just have a couple of days yeah. of rest really out there and just bonding I think that's what's needed yeah but just um, everyone's been the fans have been magnificent this season and uh, I'm just so proud of everyone who's been involved really now of course the Jill's fans they'll be absolutely loving this and lapping it up and they'll be starting to look at next season already won't they are you I am I'm really excited about next season already and, and uh, you know we have a good management team in place Martin's done a brilliant job with his backroom staff I think the team have been fitter this year than in past years possibly with all the new staff we bought in um, you know, we've got out of that difficult division. League Two is a very, very hard division. Difficult to play good football and get out. Um, but we've managed to get out, third time trying. Um, and I think we're, everything about the club is good now. We've got good foundations. Uh, I think all the omens are good. And we, if we can keep everyone together, uh, anything can happen this next season. Is, is it right that um, you were offered an open-top bus parade to celebrate, but 
you're not so sure about well, that? Well, I mean, Medway Council have been brilliant and they, they put up this offer of a bus, but it, it's not that we don't want to do it, it's just that it doesn't kind of fit into the programme for the next week and it's a question of when we could have done it. We've got our Player of the Year and, of course, our centenary dinner because it is our centenary. I mean, what a great way to write a book that would be mm. with a centenary, a promotion, a championship. Um, and it just wasn't a, a spot that would have worked. So whilst we're very grateful to the council for the great offer, it just isn't going to happen because it, it doesn't work with the schedule. But uh, we'll save the bus for next year when we get in a championship. Well, there we go. <laughs> Crawley managed back-to-back -back promotions, didn't they? So yeah. uh, they, well, it's been done by it's been done by quite a number of clubs, and uh, this everything time next feels year, good. Let's yeah, make well, it a date. I, I we'll told book the it council, keep the wheels on the bus turning. <laughs> and you've got, you've got the amazing uh, pictures of celebration from this weekend, haven't you? So uh, it's such a lot to live on, you know. And the commentaries we've had, and uh, it's just been a great experience. And uh, you just kind of want it to keep going, you know. It's, it's like your wedding day, isn't it? You never want <laughs> yeah. it to end. I'll bet. Thank you very much. Thank Paul. you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.